I, I really like this movie, even if I didn't understand some of the things. But I'm not like Logan Paul. I'm not going to criticize a movie I, I don't, you know, fully understand and say it's overrated like he basically did. I'll talk about the one thing that I don't think they even, you know, tried to explain in the movie. And that is... That in this movie, aliens aren't, you know, what most people think aliens are. Little green men or stuff like that that fly these advanced spaceships. It's simply this big flying animal that hides in its tutorial. It wants to fight anything that's in its way because it thinks this is its home. But it's able to block cell phone signals and cameras and make them stop working and stuff. I don't think they ever fully explained why. That always confused me. So if anybody knows why, I would like, you know, explanation in the comments. I honestly didn't like Emerald for most of the movie, but she kind of grew on me by the end. Angel, however, did not. I did not like him. I was just waiting for him to die, but he survived the whole movie somehow. Haywood Jr. Unfortunately did not. He died saving his sister. Even though they explained it's kind of like Bird Box where they won't attack you if you don't, you know, look at it. It's kind of like that. Because Bird Box, you couldn't look at the creatures. So they would put blindfolds on and stuff like that. If they knew where they were around. In this movie, he kind of just like looks down when the creature is near. So I won't get him. He does that twice in the movie. But eventually he decides to just sacrifice himself for his sister. I think it was just so she could get proof of it. Because they definitely could have survived together. Because he had a horse. So it's not like the alien creature could have stopped the horse. Like it stopped the motorcycle earlier. But yeah, he definitely could have went with her on the horse. And they both just could have looked down while they were riding the horse. It was a pretty interesting movie overall. I really liked it. And even though the movie is two hours and ten minutes, it doesn't feel like it. It's, it's just a fun movie to watch. They try and trick you before you, you know, actually see what the UFO animal creature actually looks like by having these people get mad that Emerald earlier stole a horse. So they dress up as aliens and try and creep Haywood out. So they try and make you think that it's actually aliens for a while. The stereotypical ones, the ones we know. But it is a completely different one in this movie. We also have this plot with this side character that isn't even listed in the cast. I mean, he's there, but they don't list his name. I think it was something with a J. And he lived through a traumatic event. Where this monkey killed all of his co-stars from a show because of a loud balloon pop. And he kept a shoe from one of the co-workers. I don't get how that worked. Would, I, I really don't. Someone just asked where the shoe is and he's just kind of like, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just keeping a tempted murder victim's shoe. But, you know, it kind of was attempted murder. The monkey kills basically all of them. At least, that's what I think happened. Because they never, never confirm it. Because there was Mary Jo Ellen, Ellen that I was pretty sure was dead. But then we later, we find out she's still alive. When he introduces her at her show, he's like, and my first crush. And then he says her name. So it confirms that she's still alive. And we even see her in the aftermath of her injuries later because she has this thing covering her face and it blows off when the alien comes but they never confirm any of the other deaths but i'm pretty sure they 
and all died besides her and him. And he keeps her sh shoe simply because it was like standing upright, which is a very odd thing, and he considered it to be lucky. This movie's a very interesting movie, it's just something you have to check out yourself.